there. This is Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. Very interesting place here with these public fountains. I'm not sure if it's drinking water or just for washing. Going to get into the center of Sofia. There's a lot to show. It's just going to be a walkthrough. Not a proper tour of all of the main sites. Just want to give a taste of the city. So, my first full day here. I flew here from Greece yesterday, from Athens. I spent 25 days in Greece visiting five Greek islands. And here we have ancient Greek ruins. Fragment from the pediment of the Zeus Serapis Temple. 167 to 169 AD. And there is more. Stone vault, 4th century AD. And up here, a really interesting face and writing. Again from the Zeus Serapic Temple 167 to 169 AD, and there you can see the Greek letters. The Greek civilization stretched a long, long ways. I'm not going to devote this uh, video to Greek history, of course, but uh, just you know, giving a taste of uh, the past altar with a votive inscription of the Thracian priestess to the goddess Artemis, 3rd century AD. So Thrace, and again, Greek language there. So Thrace is a region that includes northeastern Greece, Part of uh, northwestern Turkey and part of southern Bulgaria. Regional History Museum Sofia. Okay, so uh, let's get over to the main street. No bathing. And so I, uh, Flew from Athens to Sofia yesterday. Direct flight. It took one hour. So the uh, flight took just as long as the metro ride from central Athens out to the airport. So that was kind of funny. An international flight that was so quick. So here, ancient ruins. However, I'm pretty sure that these are more recent than the uh, Greek ruins that we just saw. And so, uh, I do not know a whole lot about Bulgaria. I'm going to be learning much more. Of course, I have been here before. I was here four years ago, and I started the video, one of the videos, right over there. And I'm kind of regretting not walking the other way because I actually wanted to show that uh, street art there, which is pretty impressive. And I think it might even be what was still there three years ago when I recorded that last uh, video. Um, so we're getting kind of into the uh, center of the city here, including where I had dinner, straight across over there last night. So on my last uh, trip to Sofia, and to Bulgaria in general, I arrived in winter. 
I think in March. So it was worth returning for lots of reasons, including to come back in the summer and see it in a totally different light. So a church there, there is some writing, Cyrillic, presumably Bulgarian language on that uh, pillar thing down there. So the uh, Bulgarian language is written in Cyrillic, the same alphabet. I'm not sure if alphabet is the uh, correct word. The same script or writing. Okay, if I want to get to the other side, any old which way you're going to do it, you have to go underneath, which is fine, because uh, let's uh, go see the underground experience, the uh, like stores and the metro and everything, and a closer look at that uh, church there. So, got to walk back this way. So, uh, Bulgarian is written in the same script used in the Russian language. However, as I understand it, then it was actually first used in Bulgarian. And of course, they are different languages. And so, uh, I came here in winter of 2018, and on that trip, then I visited Sofia, and then Veliko Tarnovo, and for those who happen to see that video, maybe you will be mildly impressed that I actually remember the name, because I did not remember the name very well in the course of trying to shoot that video. Let's uh, see these. Oh, too bad. I thought the stairs were going to be open there. So some cool tiles. All right, so now you have to like be kind of strategic in getting your directions right underground. And so uh, from Veliko Tarnovo, then I went to, and I'm sure that I'm saying it wrong, but that is the general idea. Then I went to uh, Varna on the Black Sea. And I just learned yesterday because I ran into a subscriber, Michael from Poland, like right here, literally like one minute walk this way as I was coming from uh, the metro here, which I took from the airport into the city. It cost 160 lev, Bulgarian lev, which is about one dollar. And uh, so I was walking along here and uh, Michael was walking this way and said hello. And so I talked with him for a while and uh, he's going to the Bulgarian Riviera, which I hadn't heard about. Lots of places have their Riviera. It is an area on the Black Sea on the coast of Bulgaria, south of Varna, where there are several beach places. All right, just stay a quick shot here. So that's pretty good, you know? I mean, there's a lot of uh, graffiti, street art, that is an absolute disgrace and should be erased and the perpetrators punished, you know? I mean, graffiti is really ruining a lot of cities around the world, but I think that there is a place for good street art in a controlled environment. In other words, you know, the city says like, okay, this area, this wall, go for it paint away and 
the best artist wins. Like, if it isn't good, then it gets painted over or some sort of a system to determine who is good enough to paint, you know, something like that. Because it can't actually enhance a, a place. It adds a lot of color, of course, and character and uh, art to a city. As long as it isn't, you know, ruining historical monuments and being painted on people's personal homes and businesses and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see what else we see as far as street art because I saw some really good stuff elsewhere walking around yesterday evening. All right, back through uh, the underground walkway and then I'm going to do my best to head in the general direction of the main square. If I can remember how to get there. So today is Friday, July 1st. Nice and warm, but uh, definitely cooler than Athens. And so, uh, speaking of the Riviera and beaches, that is not where I'm going. I left uh, Greece for a change from beaches and the beach scene and islands and the sea. And instead, I'm headed for the mountains. I also got a tip from Michael of a good uh, mountain town to check out. And so I will stay in uh, Sofia for another couple of days. All right, let's uh, catch this walk. And then I will get out of here and uh, get into the mountains and forests and lakes and hiking and mountain biking and stuff like that. the contrast between the two different uh, types of trams there, the older and the new, the more Soviet-styled or communist-styled. Uh, so this is the restaurant where I ate last night. Happy Bar. Amazing menu as far as the variety. A good... Uh, fish there but uh, definitely not the absolute best quality or most authentic local cuisine by any means but uh, to be able to get a plate of food a you know decent sized plate of food and a glass of wine for ten dollars is pretty amazing all right so this is where I have to uh, exercise my memory a bit. I do recognize where I am. I think pretty much just straight on. We'll get to the main square. So my hotel is a great uh, hotel, like nice room and everything. Only problem is it is not conveniently located. It said central. It's kind of central, but it is like probably a kilometer and a half at this point that way. Whereas the place that I stayed the last time in Sofia was right up here, right in the center of things. I thought that I was booking something a lot more central, but uh, sometimes it can be hard to figure out looking at the map. And so here you get to the nice pedestrian zone. I'm not sure if I'll end up making another, like, tour of the city video. Very likely I won't. I've already made a couple of videos, I forget, two or three when I was here before. 
and then this one, so we'll see how long I end up staying in town. And so from uh, Varna, Bulgaria, at the end of my trip, the last time, I headed north into Romania. Which is another country that I'd love to see more of and also in the summer. So we'll see, I'm not certain of my plans, how long I'm gonna stay here, where I'm gonna go next. But uh, Eastern Europe is underrated in my opinion. I mean, look at the city, it is like absolutely on the level with some of the major cities of Western Europe, yet not nearly as well known. You don't get as much of the feeling of it being mobbed with tourists, even though it's plenty busy. But I get the sense that it is more Bulgarians than foreigners. You don't hear that much English, American accents. However, English is widely spoken. All of the uh, servers at the restaurant last night all spoke really good English. All right, I think we're coming up to the main square. Pretty nice scene. And imagine the prices at these same sorts of restaurants in Paris or London or Rome, Amsterdam. You're talking at least twice as much, probably. Well, we didn't see much more uh, street art, which is a good thing, actually. A little bit over there that's really bad and should be erased. I was kind of hoping we would come across some more of the good stuff, but uh, maybe if I make another video, we'll see. Okay, did I walk in the right direction or not? Here it is. Really nice square here. Sort of a square and a park at the same time. What a scene. 
summer is definitely happening. Over here. It has definitely affected my opinion of Bulgaria already just coming here in the summer with sunshine and warmth. Of course, it's all about the lighting when it comes to photography, videography, and your general impressions and feelings about a place. Not all about, but a factor. Anyways, just a little taste, a glimpse of Sofia and Bulgaria for now, but uh, more coming. So take it easy. Have a good one.